Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Subnautica Below Zero. I'm Tom and I have been looking forward to this all day along. I, like, I don't even know what to do with this thing. I already scanned it. Maybe I can read about it. Is there like a, a data? Is it tech? Vehicles maybe? Research. Let's close that up. Uh, let's close that up. Alien data, maybe? Alien robot. Here we go. This device is of alien origin. Confirmed ancient aliens. Although its design is relatively simple. One, purpose. Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers. Suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. He's a friendly boy, basically. He's a friendly, helpful boy. Design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant and its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse walls, floors, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are a few moving parts rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. What is this episode like? 10? 11? I'm still trying to get out of the menu with escape. I don't think I need... I'm going to keep the scanner out because I don't know what I'm going to find in here. I saw another robot boy up here. So at least he wasn't alone all this time. It is kind of dark though. Maybe I will keep the light out just for dramatic effect. What is all this? Seeking emergency storage. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? No, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. I'm talking to aliens now, I guess. I thought this was going to be a game about exploring the ocean and petting some penguins. Maybe running from some polar bears. No, I'm talking to aliens. I'm talking to, like, maybe Transformers? Could be anything. The path branched out the other way. I chose to go this way because the other way looked like it was going to a high ground. I can always double back. Oh, look, more, more friends. This is like a whole city, isn't it? So far, nothing for me to scan. Kind of disappointing. Can I hop over here? I sure can. So I want to know how everything crashed in here. Okay, so, oh, this is just where the path double back. Okay. I've not missed a thing. Nary a detail. Okay, let's go into this alien garage. Gotta get my alien tires realigned. There's more of these things. Is it, is it like a giant boulder going to come out of the wall if I pick this up? My arm itched. <laughs> so, should I just be taking these? Oh, that's only one slot. Why not? Yo. It's the all spark. How long have you been stored here? Longer than hurt. Warning. Sanctuary power critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Yes, okay. Hurrying. You know what's crazy? Fort Octopus is right there. <laughs> I built... I built my home base, like, almost on top of ancient alien ruins. What are the odds? What are the odds? 
It's like it's like the place called to me or something. Okay, what do I do here? Insert storage medium. My fancy waterproof iPad. Please don't break it. My iPad. What's happening? Transferring. Uh, oh. Transfer complete. Oh. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA! Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component! You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This isn't happening. This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. So it was really cool once the data transferred because the audio of the, the alien voice is like, it was like, I don't know how they did it, but it was like wiggling like between like ears. So it really sounded like it was in my head. That's what I was like smirking about because it was really cool sounding. Okay, so. Oh, I can scan this junk. Containment cube. Cool. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'm leaving. And I'm assuming that whenever I interact with something like mysterious, the voice is going to come back and be like a little guide. Because now I'm like, it's, it's conduit out of here, right? Or it's, it's tr transferred. What is it called? Like, was a symbiote? I don't know. I don't know. It's a parasite in me. I almost uh, broke my ankle there. Kind of disappointing. Why? Really? The fall damage. All right. Even Mordhau's not that bad. Uh, Kind of disappointed there wasn't any sort of like new plants or anything. But then again, I did get alien technology uploaded to my head. So let's get this out of here. Um, I'm going to just swap the battery, I think. Just... For the sake of uh, safety. Okay, let's see where I am. Okay. Let's see if I can get out of this cave in one shot, yeah? Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I really wish that the, uh, the map wasn't so bright. So that I could actually easily see where I am. Inside the caves and stuff. I think it's pretty straightforward how to get out of here. But I'm still going to use... Oh, it's, this is so annoying. I still have oxygen tanks, so I'm not upset yet. You know what? I'm just turning the map off because, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Where's that air pump at? It's around here somewhere, right? Wait, where am I? Where the heck is my air pump? Oh, here it is. Let me refill off that. Um. Hmm. So the SOS isn't making that noise anymore. Yeah, it's not making the noise. Okay, let's head back to Fort Octopus. And then I'm going to I'm going to kind of uh, unload all the things that I got. Two quartz side by side. What are the odds? 
Okay, Ford Octopus is over here. Hmm. So now my my question is, what's next? Should I go back to that research base that I found where I first found the uh, the green cube, the very first one? Because now I have what do I have? I got three from the place I just was, and I got two from the other one. So that's five. I have five of those things now. I wonder how much my plants have grown. I like how I just... <laughs> I just uploaded alien existence into my consciousness. And I'm like, I wonder how my plants are doing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I can, oh, I can harvest them. Oh, he's calling me. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. If it will make you comfortable, I can use the singular. Oh yes, that's what's bothering me. Thank you. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. Please call me Alan. Alan? My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient, space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. A precursor race? But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you will prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Mm. Yes, oh. fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> I'm swapping batteries right now. Don't mind me. Okay, so let me put these in. I'm gonna get some uh, bladder fish. Why can't I leave? There we go. I'm gonna get some bladder fish. Make some food. I think I can cook these guys, right? Let's find out. I'm gonna grab everything that I can find. Because my food supplies is getting a little low. And you don't really want to run out of food at the bottom of the ocean. Or the bottom of a gigantic ocean-like bay. Hey, come here, come here. There we New go. Creature discovered. Really? I've never had an Arctic peeper? Huh. Okay. I didn't expect to actually find something new. Let's grab these guys. I'd really like to find more bladder fish. Here we go. Oh, that's a peeper. A lot of peepers out here. Maybe we can cook them. Okay. I think I'm good. One more bladder fish. Here we go. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, slippery little guy. There you go. Oh look, we might as well get this guy. He's just asking for it. Hey, come here, come here. There we go. Oh, I saw you too, pal. Then it's your unlucky day. Okay, now no more. No more. This is what the fish see when they look at me. When they watch me make things and look at my plants and end videos when I'm just kind of poetically looking out the looking out the window. Talking to y'all. Okay, let's make some snacks. Like we're going to a little league soccer game. We gotta make the snacks. Oh, I can cook them all. Okay, cool. Sure. I like you. You would think that you would put the fish on the the thing, and the lasers would cook it. Not that the lasers would create the cooked fish. A little touch, maybe. I think that would be pretty cool. If like you put the fish on and it cooked it, instead of just kind of like building the fish like a 3d printer but you know that's just me i'm sure the devs are keeping up with the series here 
Let's make all the water we can. I think like one more maybe, maybe two more. This one and then this is probably the last one. And then let's just cook them all. Yeah, so all the fish you catch you can cook. Okay, cool. Okay, one more, I think. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's transfer some of this over. I don't need all of the fish. I'll keep one. I'll keep two waters. Okay, cool. And then let's... Rocks. Gonna, oh, I can't even swap. I should make... Uh, Let's, you know what, let's make uh, another locker. And I'm going to use it for whatever I have the most of. Let's just do that. Let's just build. I need titanium. Don't I have titanium? I have just enough titanium. Perfect. Okay, so what do I have the most of? Copper? Or you know what? I should just put ore. Let's just put ore. There we go. Oh. Okay, so let's grab all the ore I can get. Lithium, gold, lead. Okay, copper. There we go. I feel like this was a good decision. Copper ore, silver ore. Cool. And then I can put the quartz back in with the rocks. Drop in the lithium. Look at that. We cleaned this right on up. I have a spare battery. Um, oh, you know what? We can listen to some music. YouTube, please don't find me. This isn't my music. It's part of the game. Um, is there anything I should build? Maybe I should build like an aquarium. What can I build over here? I feel like I should just build something today. Coffee? Bed? I should build a bed. This should be my bedroom, right? Sam's bed. I don't like making somebody's bed. That's weird. I like how Parvan's bed is. He doesn't even get a picture. He gets a question mark. Fred's bed. Emmanuel's bed. I'm going to say Emmanuel's looks the biggest. So we need titanium and fiber mesh. Okay, how do I build fiber mesh? Oh, I need the creep vine. Okay. Reap Vine City. I wish, I wish, I, wow. If I can speak, I wish I could speak. Um, I wish the Creep Vine was a little closer. It's not too far, but still, it's a little bit of a hike. It's like the only thing that isn't like conveniently like right next door to the base. Yeah, here they are. All I gotta do is just cut them. I got two. That's all I need, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, did you take that from me? Oh, it's titanium. Wait, I can take it from them? Can I grab it from you? <laughs> Payback. Payback. Actually, it's not payback because the one that stole Remember uh, one of them stole my scanner it was at the first episode and then I I ran him down and I killed him man That probably left a bad impression in some people's minds of me Little do they know if they watched my Mordhau videos, they'd know that I like animals I'm like the best Mordhau horse advocate you've ever seen Even when I'm an archer, like one of my people always ask like, oh, you know, what are some archer tips? And I say, well, as an archer, horses are really easy to hit and they're really uh, strong. Like they're really frustrating to deal with for your teammates. So you can do a lot for your team just by killing the horses. Personally, I shoot the people off the horses if I can. 
personal preference. And what I oh I need a titanium. How many did I only got one from the thing, right? What was that? Oh yeah, the bed. Okay, yeah, I just need one more titanium. One more titanium. Somebody uh you have to forgive me, I forgot who it was, but they wanted to see if sleeping in a bed would have any effect on the game. So I'm gonna build a bed and try, because why not? Somebody else wanted me to go find that big scary thing that lives over there and scan it. I don't think we're there yet. I need to find like some sort of weapon beyond like... Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Beyond this little thing right here that I have. I want like a harpoon gun or something. Okay, let's make my bed. Where's the window? Over here? Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna face... Actually, that's kind of creepy. I don't want the fish looking at me while... I guess the whole room's kind of exposed. Why not? I'll just put the bed over here. Cool. I did it. I can sleep. Okay, so let me save the game in case anything crazy happens. Like how in like Skyrim, if you sleep in a bed, you turn into a vampire. Or something like that. I don't know. I never did it in Skyrim because I didn't want that to happen. Here we go. Okay. So it just looks like the day kind of goes by. Because it was daytime and now it's nighttime. Can I do it again? I can't do it again. Okay. It doesn't look like my food or hydration was used up. So I'm guessing the bed is mostly used if you're like, if it's nighttime and you're like, oh, I wish it was daytime, you could go sleep in the bed. Because it did kind of skip ahead to nighttime from daytime. Okay, so what do we do now? We're going to drink some water. Oh, I should probably eat this fish before it goes bad. Or, oh, wait. All these fish are going bad, aren't they? Uh, that stinks. Okay. Oh, wait. You lose hydration by eating the fish? I, you should be able to, like, eat vegetables. Like, there should be vegetables here yet. Um... Okay, so honestly, where should we go now that we have the alien in our head? Hmm. Okay, what did he say? How do, how do I get you out of my head? I've added information to your data bank. You'll need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them is unclear. I've been disconnected from my network for so long, I cannot locate the coordinates. Great. Should we go look for the pilot? That's a hike. That's a hike. I'm going to go get some water bottles. Let me check the time to see how much time I got left for this episode. Okay, 20 minutes. We're good. Um, I guess let's go try to find that pilot. Oh, I guess the cured fish lasts longer. I guess that's the difference. Okay. I'm going to take some water. I'm going to just take these fish for the road here. Because they're going to go bad by the time I get back. So I might as well just eat them. Okay, we should be good. Let's go try to find this lady. Maybe she'll know something about my alien friends that I have downloaded into my head. Apple cider. Mm. It was apple cider, YouTube, I swear. 
Yeah, I can kind of, you probably can't see him on YouTube or through the video, but there's something big swimming out there. I saw like the vaguest silhouette of it. We're going to go around, I think. This is probably a bad idea to go through unexplored territory at night. We haven't really been too far over here. Ooh, there's something blue glowing over there. You see that? Like right where I'm circling. Once again, I don't know how clear that's going to be on YouTube. But I hope you can... Oh, wait. There's... Wait. There's blue things everywhere. That is like a volcanic fissure. We're out in uncharted territory right now. Ooh, we're definitely in uncharted territory. Can I swim close? I think... Is the sun coming up or is it just bright because of these things? Hydrothermal vents. Okay. Oh, jeez. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. That that scared me. Okay. So it's definitely um is that lightning? There's lightning over here. I've never seen like bad weather in this game. Maybe because I'm always below the surface. Um, okay, so these things pop open. Interesting. This is very different. Oh my god. I always hate when I can't see the bottom of the ocean. It's just, it's just unnerving, you know? Okay, at least I can, I can see the bottom now. I'm not too freaked out about it. Is this a new fish? What is this? A feather fish. Come here, buddy. The feather fish is a common species that lives in various biomes. Its coloring is distinct, but also functional. The bright white on the belly of the fish helps keep it safe from predators below, blending it with sunlight coming through the surface of the water. I'm thinking that's a good aquarium fish. That is a nice looking fish. You know what? I'm going to grab one. I'm going to grab a buddy. So they don't get lonely. There's the big thing. I wish I had binoculars. Ooh, there, there's... There's two big things. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to refill my oxygen up here. My pupils are adjusting to the, the light. Ugh. Something big over there, too. That might be a titan fish over here. Okay, I'm like off track. Let's just focus on going to the, the last known position. I guess I don't need the light on, huh? Is, is the sun already setting? It can't be already setting. Yo, there's... You stay over there now, please. I don't think I can outrun you with this thing. It'd be like trying to the out... Stern of an astronautical Soltrans Golf vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. It's like a jellyfish shark. Probably very dangerous. So where's the thing that I picked up? It said nearby. Oh, there's there's a big boy. Let's go up to the surface here. It said it was nearby, but nothing was added to the... It's already nighttime. Wait, what? What is happening? Early access, am I right? Um. Okay, well, I guess there was just a thing nearby. <laughs> Yo, I don't know about this. This is sketchy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Everything out here. Oh, jeez. There's one. Are you friendly? I've got a bad feeling about this. 
I've got a bad feeling about this. Did it like hypnotize me? What happened? Is it poisoned? Are these lily pads? What are these things? Is the poison going to clear up? I like how above the surface I'm fine. But as soon as I go beneath the surface, I'm like, ugh. Oh, I guess it's gone now. Yo, what is this? It's a whale. It's a whale. It's beautiful. Wow. That oh, it's gonna is it gonna breach? Come on, buddy. Come here. I'm gonna climb on your back. Is that okay? Is that okay? Oh, let me climb on your back, please. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to do it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm whale surfing. I'm doing it. Call my mom. Hey, buddy. I can interact. I'm doing it. I'm whale. Oh, this is so cool. I'm riding the whale. I'm controlling the whale. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't tell. I looked to the left and he started turning around. Can we go down? Go down. I'm trying to go down. How do I... Okay, so I'm just riding it. I'm not really controlling it. I thought I was. I hit... I hit A to turn left and he started banking left and I got excited. Okay, buddy. I'm going to let you go do your thing. I got to go find the crash site. But it was really nice meeting you. Watch out for these sharks out here, alright? They look kind of scary. Good luck, buddy. Watch out for humans with one legs, alright? Can I look in your eyes? Yo, that's so cool. That's so freaking cool. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Watch the tail. Watch the tail, huh? Okay, we got some lily pad looking like... Oh, this game is so cool. This game is so freaking cool. Oh, there's another one. This is so cool. Look at that. Yo, he just sucked all those fish in. Did you see that? That whole school of fish, he just sucked them on in. I'm gonna go get some oxygen here. No, I'm not letting that thing hypnotize me. I heard it start going. Can I get on it? I can't get on a lily pad. This game just keeps... It keeps just getting bigger and bigger. Once the rising lily pad breaches the surface, a sealed fan slowly releases, causing the leaf to unfurl into a large, flat circle that floats atop the surface of the water. Despite its size, the mature lily pad is able to float due to surface tension. Okay, I feel like I've gone so far off course. Where's the crash site? Okay, it's- oh, it's right below me. Okay, let me check the time one last time. Alright, 34. Okay, we're gonna go see what's- we're gonna see what's going on down there. Let me just, let me just save the game. Just let me be careful. Okay. Here we go. My eye itches. And by my eye, I mean the area around my eye. Warning. Parsing 100 meters. Oh, jeez. Oxygen efficiency decreased. You are, you are, did you follow me all the way out here, buddy? You monster. Okay, 50. It's got to be here. Hey, what is this thing? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. 
Oh, there's the Shrek. I don't know how much. Can I? Let me. A spinner New fish. Creature discovered. Oh, there's there's squid sharks everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna scan this. This is a very dangerous area, I think. Whoa. Oh, that's a dead lily pad. Okay. Is this. I have the spare oxygen tank, so I'm not too worried about going all the way back up right now. This is a new fish. A newt fish. Come here, I'm just trying to scan you, man. Okay. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Gotcha. Gotcha. New creature discovered. Okay, we're gonna do this. Uh oh. Why didn't that work? Oxygen. Why didn't that work? Oh no. Why didn't it work? I swapped it. I swapped it. It wouldn't let me swap it? I died. Don't tell I me I lost- I the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so the bright side is... If I lost anything, it's gonna be over there. Alien artifact is over there. What did I lose? I lost the newt fish, but I still have the feather fish. Let's build an aquarium. Okay, so... Why wouldn't it let me swap it? Can you not swap it in the water? Okay, there's a little missing there. What the heck? It literally wouldn't let me do that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there was some reason why I couldn't swap oxygen tanks that I didn't pick up on, but I literally did just what I just did. I don't know. Um, we're going to make, to end on a positive note, we're going to make an aquarium for my new buddy. I need glass and I need titanium. And I remember what I need for glass. Quartz. I need quartz for glass, right? Do I have quartz? I have quartz. Can I make glass with the quartz? I think I need two more quartz though, right? Yeah. Top top right. Okay, let's go find some quartz. Let's make sure there's none like right under the base like that one time. Never forget. Dang, I can't believe that's really frustrating that it just didn't work for me for some reason. Maybe... If you know why it wasn't working, by all means, let me know in the comments. But I literally went outside the base and did exactly what I was trying to do. And it worked outside the base, but it didn't work over where I died at. But I know exactly where I died. I don't know if, um, like, this stuff is retrievable that I lost. I, I honestly don't... I don't even remember what I had. I don't think I had that much. I think I just had some fish. Um, what is this? Oh, I think this is just going to be some titanium. Yeah. Okay. Um, here we go. Perfect. Warning. Parsing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, let's go make the aquarium. And I'm going to put my new buddy in it. So I think, oh, it's my neighborhood lobster. I got to say hi to the lobster. Hey, man, how's it going? You doing all right? I was dinner last night. Pretty good. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, all right. Dinner wasn't good. I'm sorry I brought it up, okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So the question is, 
tomorrow, do I go explore the ancient artifacts or do I go? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's get some oxygen first. Or do I go back to uh, the last known position? If you've made it this far in the video, leave me a comment. Tell me what you want. Last known position? Alien artifact. I'm gonna... By the time I make tomorrow's episode, I'll have seen the comments for this 24-hour window. So, you know, choose, choose what I do. Here you go. This is your chance to have a say in the let's play. So let me know. Ancient artifact or last known position. I'm gonna make a fish tank right now. Okay, and then we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna do this. I can't build it here because of the poster, really. It has to be in the middle of the room. That's super weird. I'll just put it right here. There we go. And... So do I just like toss him in? There we go. Hey, it's a feather fish. So what do I... Oh, I guess I could, like... Do they, like, reproduce? Is it, like, a fish farm? Is that how this works? But, yeah. I have an aquarium now. Hey, buddy. But that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Look at this guy. Hey, buddy. If you liked the video, like the video. Please be sure to subscribe to catch more Subnautica Below Zero every single day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Let me know. Let me know where we're going tomorrow. It's up to you. See you then.